Have a drink, said his driver, then you'll feel better. The water column stood at the end of the siding with the unsafe buffers. Suddenly, Percy found that he couldn't stop. The buffers didn't stop him either. Oh, wailed Percy, help! The buffers were broken and Percy was wheel deep in coal. Every wise engine knows that you cannot trust trucks. Go on, go on, they yelled, and bumped Percy's driver and fireman off the footplate. Oh, said Percy, sliding past the board. Percy was frantic. That's enough. Percy was sunk. The man on duty at the crossing rushed to warn traffic with his red flag, but was too late to switch Percy to the runaway siding. Frantically trying to grip the rails, Percy slid into the yard. Peep, peep! Look out! The brake van was in smithereens, but a broken cartload of lime lay ahead. Sam the farmer had just gone for help. Percy broke the car to smithereens. Lime flew everywhere. Always catch up time further on. All the same, he and his driver decided to start home early. Then came trouble. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. The river was rising fast. I wish I could see, I wish I could see, complained Percy, as he battled against the rain. More trouble lay ahead. Oh! His Percy, the water is sloshing by fire. He didn't see that the points had failed and that he had been diverted into a siding. Look out, Percy, shouted his driver and applied the brakes. But it was too late. The driver and the fireman had jumped clear, but squashed fruit squirted all over Percy. Come on, come on, push those trucks closer to me. But Percy was too upset to concentrate and push the trucks too far. Poor Percy. 